like damn who give me some food for thought changing the pasta you had in your heart hey What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Tyrell Clemens. I'm coming to get my wife, Miss Wendy, and we're trying to get your breakfast, your soul, your food with thought. Typically, um, I, I'm all energetic, upbeat, heightened, and, and jokative. But right now, I, I really want to address this food for thought in a different way. Okay? Uh, look, everybody, a lot is going on right now. Um, uh, there's, there's protests, there, there's people are doing so many things. And I feel that we have to talk about uh, what's going on right now in America, in East North Carolina, and in and, and this area. We have to talk about it. And I, I want to start off uh, this brief food for thought with a quote that we've heard um, years and years growing up. It's something we've heard a lot. And it's like this. Two wrongs don't make a right. Two wrongs do not make a right. There, there is no excuse for what happened to, to this guy. There's no excuse for what the police officers did. There, there, there is no excuse for someone being in a position that they can't breathe. There is no excuse. What? That's wrong, Wendy. It's wrong. There's it no is. question it's wrong. It is a crime, and I'm glad the district attorney indicted this man for something. It is a crime. It is wrong. Mm -hmm. But what I want you to understand is what that quote said, and it's something that's very strong. Two wrongs don't make a right. You going and breaking somebody else's stuff, tearing someone else's business up because of what someone else did is wrong. You're, you looting and vandalizing other people's property is wrong. You just become the same as the person that did the wrong before. Two wrongs don't make a right. Look, I have no problem with protests. I have mm -hmm. no problem with you stopping traffic. I have no problem with, with civil make disobedience. A I'm 100% for civil disobedience. Without that, our country would not be where we are now. But it's civil disobedience. Now, when you get in a position where you have anarchy, when you're just going totally crazy, that does not help. Two wrongs do not make things right. And, and what's going on right now is people are doing things and they're getting in something what we call group think. So when, when people just get together, they just start doing crazy things. And I'm telling you, look, that is not how we need to handle these issues. Something must be done. I know you're tired of talking. I know you're tired of, of not having action, but you need to make sure you make the right action because I want you to understand after you make an action, there will be a reaction in the process doesn't end so you have to understand two wrongs don't make a right don't make a right and one thing that i was telling you earlier is what one thing i don't understand is if you feel that cops or people or anybody is treating you wrong they're treating you like an animal or treating you like x y and z going out and doing crazy stuff and acting as they treat you is not going to help your situation. And look, I, and I, I know we're going to get some comments if you're like, that's, that's how we got to act to get their attention. No, that's no. It, that's not the case. Look, I, I understand we got to do something. I'm, I'm, I, I know it's like multiple times it just happened and happened and happened and happened and you feel like there's no ending in sight, but tearing up the country, tearing up the stores, burning courthouses is not the answer. Back in... Um Civil rights days, I remember when the um, African Americans used to go and bust up their own businesses. And it was just to me, when I was learning about that, I was just like, why? I mean, it, it, I understand why they did it. I understand the mindset. But what I want you to understand is that's not the way it should be done. And that's not what's going to get the most effect that we need to have. There, there's a way. There's a way to, uh, to get changed, but two wrongs don't make a right. So the only thing I want you to get today is do not continue in the path that you're going down. If you want to change the country, if you want to change the racism, one of the ways that we have to do it is through, I know you hate the concept. I know, I know it is so hard to hear, but love, the Bible tells you love covers a multitude of sins. I want you to understand the only thing that can drive out hate is love. The only thing that can drive out darkness is light. So you have to have it. You have to. Because I... 
if not, you're just creating, you have fear, but now you're creating more fear. And it, with fear and hate, it's not a good combination. When you have people that are afraid of black folks, then you see black folks acting crazy all on TV. When you have them afraid of it, all it does is keep the cycle going. So I need you to understand. I know you're upset. I know you're We're mad. Upset. I know you're hurt. I'm mad too. You don't understand. Look, I'm black. I'm a man. I, I've been stopped by the police. I've been stopped by the police multiple times. I've been pulled over with guns drawn to my face. I know what it's like. But what you got to understand is you have to respond the right way because just because something wrong has happened to you does not justify you acting wrong too. You have to act the right way. There's a way to get change. There's a way to demand change and we have to do it in a way that is right. So I want you to understand that quote is so true. Two wrongs don't, don't make a right. Look, that is your breakfast for your soul. That's yep. your food. Work is the glimmer, is the glimmer, is the glimmer. We